full. Is this it? I don't freaking know. I really don't know if this is it. That's why I'm gonna need some of you guys to tell me if I'm doing something wrong. That's just another level. It's not supposed to be edited. So yeah, looks freaking awesome out here. But what am I gonna truly give this overworld? I don't fucking know. What happened here? I'm not freaking. And now the glitch is erased. Now it's look. It's all fine now. It's all looking good now. I don't freaking know what happens like that. It reminds me of Pikachu's entry. Like when some of the path tiles went corrupt when I came from a certain spot on the overworld. I don't know why this happens. Still looking like a nice effort overall. But why does it happen? I don't freaking know. Just like Piker Chews. Still gonna have to give it the rating. It's not gonna be as high as I was gonna give it, but I don't think it's gonna be that much of a difference. But still, I'm gonna have to knock out some marks for the corruption of the path, or corruption of the tiles. I don't freaking know about that. It doesn't seem to be, it seems to be all fine now. It only happened once. Now let's see if there's cutoff. Let's see if the landscape actually makes sense. So far it's all looking like it makes sense. I've seen some weirder landscape. Like Tom Phantos. He really should have watched out for his land before submitting his entry, but still, it was okay overall. It was acceptable, for sure. So far, I can't see any problems with this overworld. Except for all the fucked up graphics. Especially in this corner. Can't show them to you now, because they're not even there. This is a castle... Where's the... I haven't seen much, any cutoff in the recent entries. That, or it's either, like, forced, because... You'd have to, like, change up the landscape to get it to work. I see the differentiation in the wood... Looks a bit strange, but I'm not one to complain. This pretty much looks like the basic overworld. With no stupid flaws to drag it down, except for the corrupting path tiles. I can actually give this one a mark. I'm actually certain what to do here. 78%. You're still pretty good at this. Just watch your tiles and make sure they don't screw up on you. SMC's level engine, done. SMC's level engine here, ready to review another two overworlds. Let's just jump in. Tio. Press enter to scroll over the overworld and watch it. Look, is Mario even gonna move? I'd have to say no. Welcome, this is Dinosaur Land. Ah, oh, the original message! Okay. Why do you mean scroll over it? Let's go up. Oh, that's weird. Okay, that's it. Now, what did he build? He built this. I can't freaking tell what's going on here. I can't see if there are any sub maps or not because the guy doesn't allow me to move. Paths were eliminated completely on this entry, but why? Looks nice. Let's just start looking at it completely. You have to admire all the complexity in this that was put, but I don't know. I don't freaking know. Can't seem to find any cutoff. Really can't find it nowadays. Before, like, it was a pretty big issue. Oh wow. I believe you built all this, yet you didn't use any paths or sub maps. I don't know how you managed to 
misread what SNN had wrote. You need five to ten sub maps. I mean, no, five to ten overworlds. Five to ten different worlds, as if you were playing a full Mario game. This doesn't look like it could be five to ten worlds. In fact, I can't even go see what sub maps you've built. In fact, I can't even walk anywhere. I have no idea. I'm gonna let you people decide what mark this guy deserves and move on to the next entry. Now let's try Xor's entry. Original title screen, not surprised. Let's just hope it's not like that screenshot he showed us with a graphically glitched original Yoshi's Island. Let's hope it's not that. Original message. So far it's looking not good. So he was kidding about the whole shit thing. This is a real submission. Just like all the others, I can't see any cutoff yet. The graphics look kind of different in comparison to the... So this is the original... Over hmm. I was expecting more use out of this giant overworld map. But it doesn't really compare to Super Mario Worldwide, the first one. Forking Road. Why Laka 2 sucks. Blue Switch Place. Da 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 da. Which one's the secret? I don't know. I gotta look up Edit Face one of these days. It just leads you there. Hopefully, there's enough worlds on this to satisfy me. I just lead you back there. Sky Palace. Oh. Wow. Huh? This is weird. To limbo. Bowser's World. What's here? It's the underground world. Back to the art pipe. And now, I'm still wondering how like the person will move around the overworld, but it's looking very good. This is definitely a great entry. Just let me back to the main overworld, and I'll give it the final rating. The level names are pretty good. Sound making me want to look up edifice. You know you've done a good job there, when I'm gonna go consult a dictionary to figure out what it means. And the music you use is... Ah, oh, that's good. This really, like, fits the theme of this overworld map. You've changed up the graphics quite a lot on this one. But still... I like what I'm seeing, but I'm wondering how the hell you're supposed to understand what goes on as you play this game. So I'm gonna have to give this 80%. Your paths still confuse me. Where would Mario move in all these cases? Well, this was pretty good. It's not like that screenshot you submitted of the glitched up Yoshi's Island. That was just horrible. No wonder you got a better mark than, like, I knew that didn't, I knew the glitched up Yoshi's Island original didn't deserve that kind of mark. This is actually pretty good. So yeah, be seeing you the next time. Or I just might try and cram four overworlds into one episode. Just to make things faster. Bye.